Hello everybody, I'm Gabesify22 and welcome back to more Mega Man Legends 2. In the last video, we kicked the pirates out of Kimatoma City and now we're here in the Salkata ruins. So, we just entered the B1 floor, or I guess the B2 floor. What is it? Now I just gotta correct myself instead of actually playing. Uh, where are we? Yes, we're on B3. Okay, never mind. Alright, so let's head in this door. What kind of Reaverbot is that? Well, I'll tell you something, it's something we're not fighting. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so where we want to go... But yeah, okay, uh, that's the wrong way. Yep, there's lava around here and Mega Man's not freaking boiling to a crisp. But yeah, we want to head to the door all the way over here. Like, if I pull up my map, you basically, once you enter the giant Reaverbot room, uh, you head straight and then just kind of go down here to the southwest or southeast. Now, you want to be careful here. There actually is a trap in the floor, so try to avoid. There's something funny about that door. I think you should take a look at it. Just for you, roll. Security systems B and C must be accessed to release this lock. Okay, so we need to find two securities. But like I said, this dungeon is full of floor traps, so always avoid walking down the center and always jump when you can. Now, normally I like to get by this with the roller skates, but let's not do that this time. Just watch your jumps. This shit is dangerous. All the health you can get counts. Now we gotta hit this target over here. Can you see a control panel right there? There should be one around there somewhere. Come on. There we go. Blow that up, that way we can get these chests. And they're both real from the look of our map. Auto fire unit Omega. Okay, I'll probably take a look at that. Mechanic notes five. Alright, let's take a look at this new buster part we just got. Okay, auto fire unit omega. And three energy, two rapid. I don't know. I still want to keep my max attack for the time being. Unless I can find some kind of replacement that, that, that basically maxes out my attack with only two parts. Granted, there is going to be a part later which uh, maxes out your attack from just one. Like, you'd have one part equipped and it maxes out your attack solely for that. Which, that would definitely be worth getting. Thing is, it's expensive as shit. Okay, there are floor traps here. So, just head straight and let's go through this door. Ignore everything. And it looks like we have two switches here. The map. Thank you for that. And what do we got here? Security system A. All right. It looks like a lock was released somewhere. Do you know which door might have opened? I do, actually. Okay, now just head straight. Do not stop for any reason. Those larvae breathe fire. I don't want to be a part of any of that. And again, walk along the sides. Try to avoid walking down the middle of any hallway in this place. Luckily, these butterfly guys are pretty weak. Twop! Alright. We Gucci. Alright. Now, we would just want to head straight. Straight. 
So far this is going smooth, but I could end up biting my- I could be eating my own words. Who knows? Okay, again, straight hallway, don't trust it. Whatever you do, do not trust straight, empty hallways. Okay. They're all get fucked. Can I make that jump from here? <laughs> Alright. Beautiful. You're not throwing shit on me. Uh, let me look at my map real quick. Okay, yeah, there's only one door. Okay, drop down here and jump. Alright. That's just to be safe. If you just run off right there, you're just gonna go sh- Fuck. Woo! No! Okay. Whew, that was close. I totally forgot about- I warn you guys about traps and I immediately forget. Okay, this middle one is a mimic. So we're not gonna bother with that. 15,000 zenny. Thank you. Mechanic notes four. So we found two mechanic notes in this place. Okay. Hug the corners, hug the wall. The fuck? Where are these things? Okay, um, we're not gonna focus on them. We're instead gonna shoot our... We're gonna shoot our mines over at these guys, because they're assholes. Back up. There's probably a safe way of taking them out. That way you don't have to try any bullshit. Also, there is a trap on the floor, so watch it. Those guys won't mess with you unless you get, like, really close to them, so you don't need to worry about that. Security System C. We had, still need to find B. I'm still getting the same reading. I guess it's not open all the way. There are probably two locks, and the second one is open by another control panel. That's where we're going now. Now there are larvae. Careful. Trap on the floor. Hug corners. Hug the wall. You guys know how it is. Okay, um, yeah, we can just head straight. Ooh, that was a close jump. I thought I didn't make that for a second. So far, I haven't gotten hit, so it feels like a perfect video so far. Now I'll get hit immediately afterwards. Okay, next up, we need to head back to this door to the north that we couldn't open earlier. Because now it's open. And let me take a look at my map. It's just a big lava room. Well, we gotta get going. No sense standing here. And also, you don't want to stand still. Keep moving, no matter what. Otherwise, you'll get stun locked by these guys because they keep pelting these weak ass shots and it's annoying. That should do it. Yes, roll. I know how to dig. Alright. Fuck these guys. They ain't not worth my time. Now we're gonna go head to that door we had to unlock with these two switches. And then we're gonna encounter our first boss in this place. Which there is a trick to it to make it go super fast, which I'm going to explain. I actually learned this trick from Blue Metal. He's a guy who, he's a guy who pretty much has the record, the world record on all the speedrun categories for this game. So shoutouts to Blue Metal for what he taught me from me watching his run. It must be really solid if even you can't knock it down. If 
we could just get that rock to fall, we could probably get the lava to stop. We've got to hurry, though. Teasel says Mega Man's already here. Bubble, bubble, bubble. True. It's just that I don't want to see him right now, you know what I mean? Mega Man? Is there somebody else there? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, um, uh... Huh? Mega Man? Are there more pirates there? Uh, yeah, but, uh, they're uh, acting kind of uh, funny. Funny? What do you mean funny? Just what's so funny about me, huh? What do you think is so funny? Uh, nothing. I just... What about you? I see you're still letting that, that second-rate mechanic boss you around. You're the one who's funny if you ask me. Mega Man? Is it that Bond woman again? Remember, she might be a woman, but she's still a pirate. She doesn't fight fair. Why should you? Roll? Hmm. Anyway, do whatever you want. You can let that poor excuse for a spotter boss you around for the rest of your life for all I care. We've got work to do, and we'd appreciate it if you'd stay out of our way if you don't mind. We'll stay out of your way until we find the key, all right? Got it? Good then. Now we are actually going to help him here. I'm going to go ahead and swap to my lifter real quick. What do you want? If you want to help us, fine. Just say so. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Well? Yep, let's do it. So our first boss is the Lava Rock. Here's what we do. The game intends you to pick up these guys and then you throw it at the magma rock like so. Ow, fucking hell. For real. Seriously. Anyway. They're just gonna suicide themselves and not let me fucking pick them up, apparently. Come back here. You son of a bitch. Okay. So we're going to throw it at it, and you see it does damage, ne but if you try shooting it, you're doing jack shit, and this thing has health regen to a very, very small degree. Now, the way this stalactite is designed is, of course I'm taking advantage of gaming mechan gameplay mechanics here, and it's definitely going to kill the immersion for any of you who care about that, but you want to wait, you want to wait for them to like grab one of the bots and and throw it and throw it at the stalactite and then when they do at the same time you can unleash ground crawler well that time I did it very poorly but they pick it yeah they basically pick him up and then the, the stalactite really only takes damage while that explosion is active. So before someone throws it, I could just like do this. See? All the damage counted because it's like the stalactite's defense lowers to a normal amount only when these little robots have their explosion like on the stalactite. Quick speed trick, again, blue metal. He, uh, uh, Shoutouts to him for helping me figure that out, or learning about that. So it basically makes this fight a hell of a lot quicker. Again, I'm sorry if that kills any of the immersion that you guys were probably looking forward to in this. Again. Okay, that time I kind of messed up. Okay, thank god for these asbestos shoes and the flame barrier, otherwise I'd be on fire. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy. 
hopefully I did a good job of explaining why that why that works. All right, that should cut off the flow of lava to the room with the Reaverbot. Now all we have to do is figure out how to defeat the Reaverbot, and we're set. Huh? <laughs> good idea, Bot. Well then, why don't we get him to do our work for us? <laughs> Now that his energy supply's been cut off, that Reaverbot's defenses should be weakened enough that he can be damaged. I'll bet that once he's defeated, we'll be able to get the key. All right then, our alliance is over. Next time we see each other, we're enemies again. Understand? Sure, okay. Come on, Bond, let's go. Babu! Love how casual they are about this. Well, you look like you're having fun. Huh? No, of course not. <laughs> Why would you say that? Anyway, we have to make sure we get to the key first. Ready? Yep. My instruments show the temperature is dropping steadily. It's really gone down in the room that giant reaver bot's in. I wonder what that means. Any ideas, Mega Man? If I recall, I have, like, no range to my shots, yeah. I need to fix that. So I'm actually gonna replace this with the, uh... Let's see... Is there anything that boosts range even higher? Range booster A. Yeah, I'm down for that. It'll work. It'll work. Okay. So now we need to head back to that room where that giant Reaver bot was. And since it has no lava to feed on, it has a health bar now. Just need to keep an eye, just need to watch out for the blue balls. He's easy enough, despite his size. you think he would be a lot more threatening, but I guess the bigger they are, the harder they fall. He does kind of have iframes in between uh, every time he gets hit. So you can't just, like, spam him with, like, the uh, step-canceling shots. Because you'll get, like, little to no result out of that. Yeah, just kind of like strafe back and forth and just keep shooting him. That's all there is to it. He's just about dead. But yeah, that's pretty much all this fight surmounts to, really. And that'll do it. He did. And now, you got first floor key. Did you find anything, Mega Man? I'm picking up what looks like a key on my scanner. Let's see. The only door you haven't opened yet is the one all the way at the front on the top level. Why don't you go back there and see if the key can open that door? Okay, let's go ahead and swap back. I want to swap out the range booster back with the accessory pack. Here we go. That way you have our max attack back. We don't really need to focus on range. If anything, our ground crawler will cover that later. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and heal. Hopefully I don't regret saving. I mean, don't regret not saving. 
Okay, let's go. God damn it. So you suicidal dicks. Again, avoid being in the center of uh of the of hallways. But make sure you notice that we're locking onto something down there, so you better be prepped for this. Yeah, these wolf reaver bots are back now. Back from the Forbidden Island. Wonder why they're here. Okay, B1. We're almost there. Of course we got these things. Again, hug the wall. Don't go towards the center. Because I know there's a trap in this hallway. In fact, there's fucking floor traps everywhere in this ruin. Alright, here we go. But before we can get in the door... Ow. Alrighty. Took them out, so we're good. Okay. This key lets us go into this door, which if you look at that symbol, yep, we're in the right direction. But you better be prepped, because this room is fucking brutal. See that long, you see that motherfucker over there sitting there? That's a fucking sentry that fires humming rockets, and they fucking suck ass. God damn it. Got it. Because you end up, you want to destroy them because they're so fucking aggravating. See how fucking tanky they are? It's stupid. And being on very hard mode doesn't help things. But I want to take this, I want to take this bastard out. Man, the flame barrier and the asbestos shoes make a huge difference with lava in this place. Like, holy crap. You see, I was in lava and I took, like, next to no damage. That's insane. Okay, there's three things there. That was the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, I can't zoom out. That's right. Okay. So, the last three items of this dungeon are right over here. Easy enough. Of course, it's, it has to be on a strange platform that we have to jump on. I guess it was like there were stairs that like sunk into the lava or something. I don't fucking know. Okay, we got three chests. Softball. 24,000 zenny. 300,000, or not 300,000, I wish. 30,000 zenny. Now, we should have gotten every treasure in the ruin now. Okay, it looks like that freaking bird bot bastard is, is gone. Okay, so let's head over here. That's why I hate these things. They're like fucking tanks. And their rockets still come to bite me in the ass. Don't trust these hallways. Here. I guess it's in the next room. Be careful, Mega Man. I think this is the part where like audio, voice audio starts cutting out. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on on like a disc with light scratches, but there is a point like to where like all the audio, like audio later on just gets cut, and it tries to like continue like where it left off, but it ends up having like bare minimum results just because of the fact that well, the cutscene's already over by the time. 
Okay, forget what I was talking about. I already forgot. That's far enough, Mega Man. Remember what I said before? The next time we meet, we're enemies? All right, Mega Man. Huh? Huh? Roll? Don't worry. We're just jamming her signal. That's all. Huh? You won't need to tell him that. Remember what I told you? If you don't do your job this time, I'll leave you here. No! Okay, Mega Man, here I come! Let's do it! Everyone ready? Now for the Tron fight. Freaking just jump and use the ground crawler. That's all you need to do. Or let it bounce into her, whichever works. Alright, anyway, that face that Mega Man made, I want to make that a fucking emoji. I don't even give a shit. The key's gone. I hope I'm not too late. I was going to go ahead and say that Mega Man saw the... Swear to God, Roll, you better not stop fucking interrupting me. But yeah, I was saying, I was going to say that Mega Man saw Rule 34 of of Tron before everyone else did, but then I realized, oh yeah, this is the second game, and I take that back. All right, here we go. Final boss fight. Mission start. Ground crawler is a go. Those of you people who think the ground crawler is shit. And without further ado, you got the third key. You did it, Mega Man. Now we've got three keys. Only one left to go, Mega Man. One key left. And with that, we are done in Kimatoma City for the time being. Actually, let me look at my map. Okay, let's head this way first. Also, I can take off my asbestos, these asbestos shoes now. Put back on my jet skates. As you can see, the statue is unharmed if you manage to destroy... Teasel the way that I did. I was a racer. Interested in a race? Hmm. Now there are different courses you can try. Basically, this is the this is the uh, jet skate segment of the game, just like in Mega Man Legends One. But as far as I know, the only reward you get out of this is Zenny. So I probably will do it in a separate video. I'll probably do it in the set in like a separate video at some time. But there's also something else I want to show you guys before we head out of here. Now, where is it? There's actually someone in this area. He's kind of like hidden. Here we go. We can talk to this guy. 
Sorry, there's nothing here for a nice guy like you. Come back when you've gotten a little more rough around the edges. Now, this guy will not really talk to you unless you're evil, so to speak. Like, you have to get your karma down to the point to where you're Dark Mega Man. Which, I want to preserve being Light Mega Man, so I'll probably show off what you get from him and what you can do. And then I'll just load my save back to where I'm good. That's the best way I can explain it. But, we'll do that later. That's gotta remember to make that a separate save. But let's go ahead and get the key back to Blueshire before we end off. I was trying to press triangle to go up the ladder because I've been playing Metal Gear Solid 5. We got three keys already. Let's get this key back to Blueshire before anything happens. Unless there's something else you wanna do first. Well, yes, actually. We got a lot of shit. Talks about energy blades. Talks about defensive systems. Okay, let's see. Bottle rocket. Tracking systems. Softball. Something that releases electricity. Zit saber. With the blade notes. You get the blade arm. Shielding notes. That's some kind of a shield of some kind. Alrighty. So we have a new weapon to look at. And that is the blade arm. Where is it? Here it is. The blade arm. It creates an energy blade. Basically, you can press the triangle button to attack with it, and then you can press it again to do a second to do like a second slash and then a jump slash. Overall, it's a pretty neat weapon. I like it. I mean, I don't use it, but anyone who does use it and says it's really good, let me know. But other than that, that's all that we did so far. So now let's go in. So let's go and head back to the sulfur bottom. This video is already a little too long for my liking. Three down, one to go. Even I can't believe you've been able to do all this by yourself. Good job, Mega Man. We have only one key left to recover. It lies in the ruins under Yosionke. However, all the pirates appear to have joined forces and are getting ready to attack Yosionke. Although it looks like they don't have enough manpower to take over the city, they're outfitted a train with various weapons and are threatening to destroy the city unless we give them the key. They know this is their last chance, so they're not likely to pull any punches. You watch yourself, Mega Man. Be ready for anything. Your first priority is to protect the city. Once you've dealt with the pirates, talk to the priest at the gallery. He'll open up the ruins for you. Good luck, Mega Man. Oh, so you mean the ruins were inside of the- were beneath the church the whole time? Who would have figured? So that's going to be it for this video. Hit up with that energy charge. We going to save this shit. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I moved my save file to a different memory card. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.